<coughs> Here with women's soccer coach Neil Cassidy. Coach, two non-conference games last week, uh, a win over Superior and then a tough loss to River Falls. A good time in the season to play a couple of non-conference games as, as you kind of break away from the conference uh, schedule, so to speak? Yep. A um, couple of things we needed to, to work on. Um, Superior game. We had, a, we had some, quite a few chances there on. Their goalkeeper played out of her skin. She made some great saves. Suddenly, just like just sat there and applauded. I mean, some phenomenal saves. Uh, River Falls game was, uh, was a good game for us, but it was really, really heartfelt, disappointing loss in overtime, uh, where we thought we deserved the win. You know, it was, it was impressive with the Superior game in that it was 0-0 going into halftime. You guys kind of broke out and scored four goals in the second half. Like you had said, with a keeper that's playing that well, does it get a little hard for the players to kind of, you know, hey, everything we're putting at her, she's stopping, but yet in the second half, it was almost like you scored that first goal yeah. and things just kind of started to roll from there. Yeah, we, it's just, uh, we just said, uh, just keep putting them on target, you know, and uh, follow the ball, which we did. So... Um, first one went in, that gave us a bit of confidence, and then uh, we just kind of built from there. Let's talk a little bit about Wednesday's uh, game with the River Falls. One of the things that was really very impressive with that game was what happened before the game. Talk a little bit about uh, September, <coughs> September being uh, you know, the Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and what you guys did is, is pretty special. Yeah, so we, we, um, we did, um, last year, we did a pink game for Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October. Um, September is Childhood Cancer Awareness, Awareness Month, a little bit closer to home for me. So we decided to invite uh, some families that have been touched uh, by the disease and we had a few families come out and join us. River Falls, I knew Sean, the coach, an, an amazing guy. Um, I knew he would be, uh, what that if any game, that would be the game to do it. And he was fantastic. Our teams met before. We had a team picture, we had a ribbon that we did where everybody held hands and I was in tears. It was just an amazing, an amazing thing and for me that's, that's collegiate athletics. Yeah, it was, it was pretty impressive that you know you get two teams that you're going to do battle and yet beforehand they get together and, and really show the solidarity of, <coughs> of making sure that people understand uh, you know the importance of, of being aware of, of what's going on and like you said, very close to home. Now we got to talk some soccer. Yep. Saturday, big game at, at Bethel. Uh, talk a little bit about what, uh, what's going to be the keys for you on Saturday. Yeah, I think just putting 245s together. We've shown um, against a number of really good teams that we can get 45 minutes and we can recover from things. Um, Saturday is about 2.45s, that's all we've been talking about. 2.45s, putting it together, making sure we're coming out strong, um, making sure that the team has to adapt to what we're doing uh, as opposed to vice versa. But I think we've, we, we're, on the, we're on the cusp and uh, once we get to that point and we get confident, uh, I, think it'll be, I think it'll be good. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a, a good game for us on Saturday. Saturday afternoon, 1 o'clock, up in Bethel against the Royals. Good luck, Coach. Thank you.